Hi and welcome to Cottontail's Crafts Corner. Today I would like to show you how I use watercolor to create custom colored fabrics for my stitching projects. For this tutorial I will use a plastic board, you can take any hard board that's not afraid of watercolors and heat, a piece of fabric, watercolor, I use whatever I have at home, a glass of clean water and a paper towel, a brush, an iron, a towel and a hair dryer. And we are ready for step 1. I will be making a washi coloring on my fabric, so I want the watercolor to spread easier. That's why firstly I wet my piece of fabric and lay it on my board. My fabric is Lugana 32 count antique white. Then I prepare the watercolor. Just mix in a couple of colors with the water. If you want a more vibrant color of the final result, mix more watercolor pigment with the water. Now I'm applying the colors to my fabric. I will make a simple abstract coloring, so I put the colors randomly to my fabric without any specific algorithm. If you see that your color is a bit intense, just add some extra water on the fabric and it will get lighter. If you would like to remove excess water, just squeeze your brush with the paper towel and remove excess water from the fabric just like this. And don't forget to rinse the brush when you change colors. I will color the whole piece of fabric. Now when I'm happy with the result, I will try adding some drops of color to see if they stay or no. Now it's time for step 2, the hair dryer. Make sure your fabric lies flat on the board and doesn't move. If you move your fabric too much when it's wet, the colors may mix and in some cases make your fabric look dirty. You don't want that, do you? Also, make sure that your board is heat resistant and doesn't melt from the hair dryer's heat. I use medium temperature on my hair dryer and don't bring it too close to the fabric, 
just not to burn anything. Keep using the hair dryer until you see that the fabric is nearly dry. Ok, I'm done with drying and here's how the fabric looks now. It already got lighter, but it's not the finish yet. And here's the back. Now it's time for the iron. Take the towel that you have. Make sure it's not a new one, as the excess watercolor may stick to it. And now we need to iron the fabric so it gets completely dry. We're doing this step to better fix the color and the fabric. I use high temperature on this fabric because it partially consists of cotton, but you should always take into account the type of fabric that you are working with. Don't press the iron too hard on the fabric. You may also use some steam if there are wrinkles, but don't use too much. Now the fabric is completely dry and here is the result. I see that the small drops of watercolor are gone, but in my case it's not crucial. If you want to keep the watercolor drops visible, just make them with more intense watercolor. Let's move on to the next step. We'll be washing the fabric in warm water. I usually do it in the sink and I often add a bit of gentle liquid hand soap, but not too much. This step washing is needed to remove the excess watercolor from the fabric if there is any. The basic rule here is to be gentle with the fabric without twisting it too much. Wash it for a couple of minutes and rinse it with warm water. And we are ready for the final step. Place rinsed fabric on the towel without twisting or squeezing it. And roll the fabric into the towel. This way the towel will soak the excess water. And we are ready to iron the fabric again. This time the process is the same, we need to make the fabric dry with the help of steam when needed. Or you can lay your fabric on a flat surface and let it dry itself. And here is the final result. As you can see, the color on the fabric got lighter, so you should keep in mind the intensity of the color that you want to achieve, as it will always be lighter in the end than initially. Also keep in mind that your fabric may shrink a little, 
due to the heat that you apply. I hope you enjoyed this video, so if yes, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, as more tutorials will be coming out. And please let me know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. Don't be afraid to experiment and see you next time!